this is turning out to be harder than I expected. <laughs> As some of you guys know, I've had this carpet for quite a while now, so I've been itching to finally have a chance to get it into the boat. Now, I don't remember exactly how big it is, so let me take some measurements to refresh my mind a little bit here. Six feet wide, and then the length, ten feet long. And I believe this one piece should be enough. So let's go ahead and get that boat out there pulled in here and start figuring out how we're going to do this. All right, we got the old girl in the garage now. So let's go ahead and see if our carpet's going to be big enough. So for the width here, I'm over there. So six feet almost gets us the full width here. We'll have about an inch of wiggle room on each side and that's perfectly fine as long as it's as wide as the bench I'm happy with it so we're good on width there and now for the length oh my goodness so 10 feet gets us all the way under the bench seat almost to the uh, wall there so that's pretty darn good so I think we'll have enough to just do it in one single piece running forward and then of course we'll have the uh, ski locker door cut out as its own hole in it you know what I mean I'm gonna go ahead and get those two seats right there out of the way that way we're able to cut the circles out of the carpet for those seats Get this carpet in here. Ugh. All right, here we go. Damn, look at this. This is pretty nice. Boy, I will say it doesn't want to move around very much, so that's good. It should hold in place pretty well. Let's see how far we can roll this out starting to creep up the wall here a little bit all right well first mistake was trying to roll the whole thing out because it gets bound up where the edges of the boat come in so now I'm rolling it back up to start over again that way I can get it straight without it going crazy like this this might be difficult for some of you to believe, but this is turning out to be harder than I expected. <laughs> the darn thing, it's hard. I figured I'd just roll it down and cut it as I needed to as I went. I don't know, it doesn't want to roll because of the sides. It's more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be, but that's not going to stop us. Got the tape measure back out here. Uh, marked right here where the 10 foot mark is. So I need to go back about another uh, inch and a half there. You can see I actually got the mat tucked under the front of this. But we can't go past our 2x4 block there. So I'm going to cut off about an inch and a half there to go around it. Goodness, manhandling this bad boy wears me out. You would think it's just a piece of carpet. How heavy could it be? All right, well, the next thing I want to do here, God willing, 
is go ahead and make the cut right here where this is going to stop at that foot well where the middle of it goes on another foot and a half or so. So measuring to the front from the carpet, it's about 46 and a half inches. And then if I measure under here to the carpet, it's about 19 and a half inches. So that means from the front up there to where I need to cut to to get to here is about 27 inches. You can see we're finally making some progress with the bad boy we got her cut up there pretty good I'm still about one foot away from the end up here so I got to cut these back another foot or so but you just can't get the scissors at it from that angle with it tucked up tight there so I'm gonna pull it back out and finish cutting it and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to slide it all the way in and have it laying pretty flat to be able to cut out the holes for the seats and the ski locker or at least that's the hope oh man well things are finally starting to come together back here as you can see, we've got it pretty much in position now. The next thing I think I'm going to go ahead and do is cut off uh, the part of this that I won't need. As you can see, we're only going to need to go about to here, and that'll roll up in there. got those pieces done for under the helm and dash area there turned out pretty good you might have saw me use on this side I started using that little uh, razor blade roller tool and let me tell you that one cuts through it like butter and I just wanted to make sure I had a wood piece underneath what I was cutting just to be sure I didn't accidentally cut through uh, the carpet underneath where I was cutting it and let me tell you guys, these spare bits I cut off make some nice seat cushions back here. <laughs> Don't you worry guys, we're going to have some real seat cushions coming sooner or later. We'll get to that when we get to it. But continuing on here, the uh, next piece I want to work on is getting this middle section uh, cut more so it fits in there good right now where it's getting caught up on is i don't know if you can kind of see it here but we're cut right at the inside edge of this board here so i need to cut a little more off so it can go flat down on the inside So we got this front section cut to shape here. And I was debating a little bit on whether or not, because the floor angles up here at these corners. I was debating on whether or not I'd have the carpet go up that angle. I think I like it going up like that. It just fills in the area more. Boy, let me tell you, we got it cut nearly perfectly to size here. And I am liking it. And this carpet really does do a good job with holding into position well. It doesn't want to slide around. That's that, that 
kind of like rubber backing on the back of it does a pretty good job of holding it still. So now with this complete and looking good, now moving up to here, the last three things we gotta do is the pedestal cut out there and the pedestal cut out there and then the ski locker in the middle. got those bad boys cut out and the cuts aren't perfectly perfect but that is all right besides these are going to be tucked up underneath the seats so you're probably not going to be staring at it anyways i'm going to leave those how they are for now and it's time for the grand finale of trying to cut out the ski locker door goodness I am pooped but we got her done boy I'm happy to finally have some carpet in here guys you have no idea there was a few times where we almost slipped on that uh, gel coat deck but now we aren't gonna have to worry about that at all I mean this stuff is awesome it ain't moving at all and I really do love that I'm able to just pull it up and Take it out of the boat if I need to to check underneath to make sure there's no cracks in the gel coat on the deck so this is pretty awesome but that is gonna do it for today if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button and if you want to stay up to date with all the future videos I'm putting out be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell but thank you guys for all your love and support and until next time Goodbye.